Vanessa, this is absolutely an exceptional performance from you. I have to ask, um, was there much spent time with Ezekiel for you all to develop this familial bond because it was so palpable on screen? Yeah, I think, um, well, Zeke is a, just so sweet, uh, such a lovely human. So it's so easy to work with him and to, and to, and to create a connection. Um, but I did spend a lot of time with him. Um, I went to meet his family um, and uh, just seeing him as a son, you know, uh, I think that helped a lot. And we also had rehearsals, which is um, not necessarily uh, something that happens in every movie, but uh, just so I love rehearsing, I love rehearsing. So we improvised a lot, uh, especially the two of us. And so, it was just a treat to work with him. So, Miranda, there's a lot of gray areas with so many of the characters in this film. Did you and um, Augustus talk much about whether or not <laughs> your character um, had, uh, of Marion had this sort of heartfelt sympathy for Anna and Nico or whether or not and whether or not she was you know bound by her devotion to her husband or was it something you all worked out or is it something that he felt comfortable when he saw you had read the script and did maybe a, a casting thing for it a video for it that he saw you truly got her turmoil her inner struggles um I think what you're talking about is that that you feel unsettled about like where she really sits and yes. uh, that was purposeful definitely that there were always lines in there that were set up to make you feel like is she really on their side or not is she doing what what are, what are her motivations like we we didn't want you to settle too much into Marianne being like a warm, cozy figure. She's definitely <laughs> yeah. um, the, the, the main like um, thrust of the kind of Barris side seeming like, oh, maybe, maybe they're up to something else. It was, yeah, we definitely layered things in there to try to make you not trust her. Vanessa, there's so many palpable scenes in the entire episode, I mean, excuse me, in the entire film, what was it like for you and Ezekiel to be shooting in this tiny little room, <laughs> the two of you, just by yourselves? And and was the camera just like squeezed in there? We'll talk about filming those particular scenes. Yeah, definitely. I think it, it helped us um, just get into, into character and get into that situation because, um, you have to believe that these two have been are there um, uh, day in and day out, and the pressure starts building, and um, you know, stem from the fear, the paranoia, and everything. And so, uh, our art department just did a great job of making it extra dreadful <laughs> there. And so, um, it just it, it 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 really helped. Not only that, but not only not only that particular place, but I think the house in itself is um, is, is 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 another character in the movie. Um, we we filmed this in a very uh, short period of time, and basically all of it was was in the house. So it it really helps you just you know stepping in and you are you're there, you're in, you're in that situation. At least for me, it was, it was very helpful. Miranda, I asked Vanessa about filming in those small, <laughs> those small little room that you guys have set aside for her and her son, but was there a scene that maybe was more memorable for you to film or maybe was tougher for you as far as an internal struggle to get through? Um, tougher as an internal, um, um... I mean, I've been talking a little bit about like just a scene that I really love was the scene where Vanessa, um, where the whole family is having dinner together and v Vanessa talks about her family, like Marianne asked her to speak about it and then she speaks about it and uh, Vanessa does it so well. It's it's so beautifully told and it's so 
um, arresting in that moment. It's such a different world from the Barris's world. And um, it, it, it really, for me, is sort of the moment where you really see the families and just how different their experiences are, are and how little the Barris's really understand um, of Anna and Nico. Melissa, what is it about um, this family, the Barrises, that truly makes Anna trust them, at least initially, <laughs> as far as their safety is concerned? Well, I think with them is 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 just you know she's found a, a good place to work. It's a, it's a pleasant family. They treat her well. They're very kind. Um, even their children are lovely. And so she feels like she's in a place where you know she. She sees her being in this in this um, in this house for for a long time. It's a it, like I said, it's a pleasant. She's found a very pleasant work, place to work. It's not always like that, um, uh, especially with um, you know uh, people who work in in other people's houses. It can you can find families who treat you kindly and families who don't, and so. Um, especially being undocumented, you might not have the privilege of choosing. And so it might not have been, she might not have had pleasant experiences in the past. And so she, this is a place where she feels, she feels safe and she feels um, she's treated with respect. Um, and so naturally when they approach her and they say, um, we can open our house to you and your son, it, I think, she sees that they're doing this out of the the their kindness out of kindness um and so she feels safe Miranda what do you hope lingers with audiences who watch at the gates is it immigration reform is it um trust your gut is it a question uh your safety at this point what what do you hope lingers whether it's an emotion or whether it's a message Look, I, I do think it's a great, you know, starting point for discussions about immigration reform. I do think that that is something that I'd like people to think about. But it, also, I think it's about the idea that the human side of these stories and how how difficult it is sometimes to imagine what other people's stories are like. And I think, you know, film is a, a great medium for us to be able to actually understand more fully you know another human experience you know we can live in these bubbles in these privileged places and you really don't have the the visceral feel of what that is is like to be an undocumented immigrant so um i i hope people take that away from it 